Okay, so today we're continuing again with solving rational equations. These are the same steps as yesterday. So we're going to start with the problems. If you need to pause the video, then do that. So first thing is find your LCD. X and 2X both go into 2X. So there's my LCD. Remember, I'm writing down um, each fraction with a little bit of space in between so that I can put in my LCD. My LCD is 2X. And if you pick the right LCD, then you should have no more fractions after you cancel and multiply. So you're looking for common terms. Two X's cancel out, so all you're left with is X minus 5. We don't need the 1's, right? So we can cross off the X's and the 1's. We're just left with 2. Here, two X's cancel. And you're left with 1 over 1, which is just 1. All right, so now we've just got a basic equation. I would say add together your like terms. So you got X minus 5 is equal x minus 5 plus 2, so that's x minus 3 is equal to 1. And when you add 3 to both sides, you get x equals 4. All right, and then just double check. Does 4 make my denominator 0? That makes it 8, 4, 8, so I'm good. All right, look for your LCD. These are both the same, so my LCD is just x plus 5. This denominator is just 1. So I'm just rewriting the original equation. All right, so notice this is a minus. I'm going to change this to plus a negative. I'm going to make this a negative and a negative. I think that will make it a lot easier. So make that add a negative x plus 2. That's where I got this from. Okay. So now I'm going to put in my LCD. x plus 5 over 1, x plus 5 over 1, and x plus 5 over 1. Now most of these will cancel nicely, so I have just x plus 5. Here my x plus 5's cancel, so I'm left with just x minus 4. Here my x plus 5's cancel, now here I'm left with plus negative x minus 2. Alright, so if I add together my like terms, I'm left with just negative 6 over here. Because the x and the negative x cancel out. And then if I subtract 5 from both sides, I get x equals negative 11. Just double check, negative 11 plus 5 is negative 6, that's not 0, so we're good. All right, so flip to the other side. Okay, you're going to keep going. Find your LCD first. 2x will work for all these. This one, my LCD is just x minus 1. If you want to find your LCD down here, 8 and 4 both go into 8, so my LCD is 8x. And over here, my LCD is 6 times x minus 1. All right, so we're going to set up our equation. We'll just leave a little bit of space. All right, my LCD is 2x. So I'm going to multiply each one by that. And you're going to look for things that cancel. So my x is cancel. I'm left with 2 times the quantity x minus 5. Here my 2x is cancel, so I'm left with 4x minus 5. Here only my 2's cancel, so I'm left with x times the quantity x minus 2. All right, so you have to distribute in a couple of places. 2x minus 10 plus 4x minus 5 equals x squared minus 2x. So now if I add my like terms, I have 6x minus 15 equals x squared minus 2x. Now because I have an x squared, I need all my x's and all my numbers on the other side. So I want this to be 0 equals x squared minus 8x plus 15. If you want to factor, you could factor. Otherwise, we're just going to solve using our quadratic formula again. So A is 1, B is negative 8, and C is 15. And my answer is 5 and 3. Okay, so double check. Does that make any of my denominators 0? That makes it 5. That makes it 10. This one is 3 and 6, so those are good. As long as your denominator is not 0, you're good. All right, problem 4. So we have... 3 over x minus 1 plus 2 over 1 equals 5 over x minus 1. And my LCD is x minus 1. So I'm multiplying each fraction by x minus 1. Look for things that cancel. All right, 3 over 1 is just 3. Nothing cancels here, so we have 2 times x minus 1. Here my x minus 1's cancel, and I'm left with 5. Notice they were all over 1, so I left that off. 
All right, so now you're just distributing and solving for x. So 2x minus 2 equals 5. If I add my like terms, I get 2x plus 1 equals 5. If I subtract 1, I get 2x equals 4. And I get x equals 2. Double check that 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's good. All right, last two problems. My LCD is 8x, so I'm going to write down my problem with a little bit of space. My LCD is 8x over 1, 8x over 1, and 8x over 1. So I'm going to cancel common terms. I get 16, 8's cancel, minus x squared. Nothing cancels, so I have 24x over 4, which a better way to write that is just 6x. All right, so now I'm going to move everything to one side. I'm going to just subtract my... Um, 6x, so I get negative x squared minus 6x plus 16 equals 0. And then I'm going to use my 8-quad program again. So x is negative 1, b is 